My name is Mariel Lutz and I'm a senior here at Northampton. So one thing that really helped me and I learned this tip from my sophomore AP Chem teacher was active studying and because I kind of came in I thought okay to study you just read whatever notes you've taken and whatever book chapters you've read like hundred times before the test and then you'll be fine and then you'll understand it. What I kind of didn't realize is that if you read it and you understand it in the wrong way then you aren't going to be prepared for the test and tests aren't usually just definitions and asking you like oh can you recite page 32 of the book like that's not how it works and so Biggs taught us about this thing called active studying where you like do problems again you do multiple choice you do open response specifically for sciences um, for bio tests I would go and do practice problems in the book for physics now I look over problems we've done both in the packet and then I look at ones that we haven't done that are similar and I redo them or I go through the thought process and make sure it lines up with what I've done. So that's like been the biggest thing that's helped me because if the most tests are whether or not you can do the types of problems that you've learned and so I kind of thought that I could just look at them but if you don't actually go through them again you don't remember kind of where you get stuck and where what you need to work on. I would say that it's definitely helped me have a more positive high school experience because it's helped me do better in my classes and enjoy my classes and feel like I come out of a class not just like getting good grades on tests or something but actually understanding it. Like I came out of chemistry and I could do the problems and I knew understood what I had learned better than if I had just reread it and so it made each class one, less stressful because I actually understood what I was doing, and two, more interesting because I had a deeper understanding of what was going on.